Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Started From The Bottom. It's been an amazing FA Cup run with our Bath City side in this second season. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video and take on Aston Villa. <laughs> Aston Villa are 18th in the Premier Division currently, uh, just hot off the back of a 1-0 win away at West Ham, thanks to a goal from Wesley. Uh, before that, they've had an international break, so they've had a friendly against Lokomotiv Moscow, and before that, back-to-back -back losses against Manchester United and Spurs, respectively. Um, it's going to be a tough one, I think. Uh, some interesting players in this uh, lineup that they've still got, still got Jack Grealish, obviously, Wesley, uh, John McGinn, Douglas Luiz, DeAndre Yedlin, some really interesting players here. So let's go into the Bath team that is going to be taken to the field at Villa Park. One thing I will say before we get into the team that's going to take on Aston Villa, whilst they've only had a few games in between their uh, last FA Cup outing, we've had quite a lot. And not only have we had quite a lot, we've had a couple of games. So we played Torquay in the FA Trophy. Uh, we drew 108th minute penalty there. Brilliant. Uh, so not only did we go to extra time, we still didn't get a result. So we had to go into the replay. Uh, so the replay, we were coasting. We were 2-0 up. I'd taken a couple of players off as well because I was getting a bit cocky looking to rest them. And then they scored two goals in the final 10 minutes again to send that to uh, extra time. Following that, we lost the game against uh, Dover, uh, sub-ideal, but then obviously we've had three back-to-back -back wins against uh, Barnet, Torquay again, and Hartlepool, um, and then we've just drawn our FA Trophy fourth-round game, which again went to extra time. So when I jump into the tactics section, as you can see, half of my team are absolutely exhausted. Um... I don't really know what else I can do, to be honest. I mean, I need uh, Connor Stanley. I need Noah Chilvers. I need Sam Pearson. He's exhausted. I need Humphreys. Like all of these players that are in the team currently, I need them to start this game. So I'm just going to submit it and let's take a look at the Villa team. So here we are then. This is the Aston Villa team that we will be taking on. Uh, front three of Wesley, uh, Jack Grealish and El Ghazi. Is that Aaron Ramsey? Don't tell me that's Aaron Ramsey. It is Aaron Ramsey. Oh, it's not the Aaron Ramsey. Interesting. Okay, so they've got Aaron Ramsey at centre attack in midfield. Uh, defensive midfield partnership of uh, John McGinn and Douglas Luiz as well. Uh, interesting uh, back line. Uh, looks like they've rested Tom Heaton for this game. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how they get on. Obviously, they've got Samato on the bench as well. So this is going to be interesting. Um, it's got to the point now where I'm kind of not really expecting uh, anything now. Um our whole team is absolutely exhausted and don't really need this game, but we're here. So here we are then. A highlight from the off for uh, Aston Villa as they've kicked off. This is sub-ideal. I'm just waiting for like the 60th minute onwards for everyone to be absolutely exhausted. Um, as I said, not really expecting a great deal out of this game. Um, away at a Premier League outfit. Uh, we're just kind of happy to be taking part at this point. Finds Grealish and into the penalty area. Oh, we're consulting VAR. That's something I've not had to worry about this season. Oh, but VAR says it's a penalty, not even a minute into the game. And Ashley Harper has given away a penalty. Jack Grealish to step up. And of course, Jack Grealish scores. Eighth goal of the season for him. Uh, sub ideal start for us uh, as we move into this game obviously Grealish sends the goalkeeper the wrong way so I think we've gone one nil down and we've not even touched the ball yet so this is a great start another ball comes into the penalty area this one hits the bar and goes over uh, goal kick lovely so we've got the ball is this going to be our first highlight or have we just thrown it straight to Villa so Stanley's on the ball he's probably my most uh, creative player into Rooney after the tackle. Humphreys just kicks it straight against his man, and here come Villa. Ah, oh, this is going to be a tough one. This is almost reminiscent of uh, some of my FA Trophy games, but DeAndre Yedlin's free down the wing, hits it straight at my goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper is actually able to hold on to it. God, rolls straight into a highlight for us, or is it a highlight for us because we lose the ball instantly again? 
Wesley's there in this in the attacking midfield spot into Aaron Ramsey. Ramsey's running through, hits it straight out my goalkeeper, who's managed to push it wide, and then Grealish is only able to run the ball out of play. Um, we've not really had a highlight of our own 20 minutes in. I'm not worried. You're worried. Uh, if it stands, if it stays at 1-0, we can always get a goal. Um, it's just that I'm worried things could get out of hand. And just as I say that, of course, Aston Villa scored the second, uh, second of the game for Jack Grealish as well. Multi-million pound player, you know, uh, let's let's take a look at this. So Agazi gets it into Wesley. Back to Agazi. And then the run's just there. I mean, Ashley Harper's basically planted, absolutely planted. And Grealish runs away and slots past my goalkeeper. A pie out to Stanley, though. This could be... Uh... Stanley's robbed it. A pie is there. Got to square it. Got to square it. In? In the goal? Is that gone in? Oh, that's an awful goal. It's gone down as an own goal. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, This is an absolute madness. This is this is what the Bath City save is all made up of. Stanley gets it here. He's got to square it to Apaya for me, but he gets tackled, falls over. Apaya slides into the goalkeeper, hits the goalkeeper again. And then I think the defender clears into the goalkeeper on the line. I've got no idea what's gone on there. It's gone down as a goalkeeper own goal. We're kind of back in this game. Yedlin with the ball, skips past his man again. Good slide tackle from Calvin there, stopping him advancing any further. Uh, good block again. But here come Villa again. Gone all the way back to the goalkeeper here. You won't score another own goal. All the way up. Burn. Bah. Grealish is just having an absolute field day. Absolute field day. There's nothing I can do to stop him. Let's have a look and see how good Jack Grealish is, actually. How good is Jack Grealish? Yeah, he's worth 52 million. He is staggeringly good. I'm surprised he's still at Villa, to be perfectly honest, considering their uh, Premier League uh, position. Um, he scored three against me. I mean, as you would expect. Another chance, though. Stanley, this is where we need to make it count. And Noah Chilvers, this is, see, this is why I said we, need play, we needed players like Connor Stanley and Noah Chilvers in the team because they are capable of exactly this thing. Cross come, uh, the corner comes in from Stanley. And Jorvis is there, and he just heads it straight past the goalkeeper. Maybe they shouldn't have. Um, maybe they shouldn't have dropped Tom Heaton. So it's half time then, and we are three two down. But looking at the stats, I mean, Aston Villa have every right to be annoyed. Um, we've only had three shots with two on target. Obviously, one of our goals being a own goal. Uh, Villa with the thirteen shots and six on target. Um, Villa have had sixty percent of the possession as well, as you would expect for a Premier League side. But the thing is. We're still in this game. However, what I am worried about, if I just jump into the dressing room, is the current condition of all of my forward players. 70%, um, 68%, 69%, 70% for uh, the central attacking midfielder as well. It's not great. Um, I am going to sympathise with the team. And I'm going to say passionately, I think there's a lot more that I can expect from the defence. Only because they've kind of just been letting Grealish wander in. So we go into the second half. Let's see how we get on. Roll straight into a highlight for Villa. Wesley with the ball in. Oh, free kick to Bass City must, uh, off the throw. Must have been offside. Be interesting to see if we could get another um, opportunity in this game. Might have to make some changes. Uh, bring on a couple of different wingers. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that now. I mean, Chilvers and Stanley are dipping towards the 60% mark. Same as Humphreys. So let's bring on... The winger, let's bring on Tom Smith. And although Lee Connolly is not actually doing much better, I may bring him on instead of Humphreys. So triple substitution there. Um, unfortunately for Chilvers, he goes off, um, having been having been our goal scorer and performed the best so far. But we needed the we need the fresh legs. I mean Chilvers will be vital for the rest of our run running this season. Obviously, we've we're still in uh, pole position in the league. Oh my God, if that had gone in, I'd been absolutely baffled. Um, so we are obviously in pole position in the league and we are still currently in the FA Trophy. Oh nice, just what you love to see. Villa just bringing on a wonder kid as you do. And to play centre midfield. I mean, as I've said all along, Villa were expected to win this game. Um, 
most most people wouldn't have even expected us to score two goals in this game, let alone anything else. Um, the, the wonder kid who's just come on has just had a nice strike wide of the post. Um, I wish I could make more subs, but everyone is knackered. Uh, free kick here. El Ghazi stood over it. And he rifles one in. That looks like it came off the post. Um, is that down to goalkeeper positioning? I don't know. I might be uh, being a bit uh, a bit too hard on my goalkeeper there. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a good free kick, isn't it? A good free kick from a Premier League player. So that is it then. That is full time. There were no more additional highlights in the game. Um, game was pretty much put to bed by Jack Grealish uh, more than anything else. Uh, Hat-trick for him. I'm actually really proud of the boys. They got two goals against Premiership side. Granted, one of them was an own goal. I don't care. With the amount of minutes that all of these guys have played over the past couple of weeks, you cannot argue with it. Um, so our FA Cup adventure ends at the fifth round stage. Okay, so there is the result, guys. As you can see, 4-2. Aston Villa qualify for the FA Cup quarterfinals. Obviously, Bath City were never expected to be in this position alongside the likes of Arsenal, Leeds, Fulham... Uh, and and the search. Um, so we wish Aston Villa all the rest of luck for the rest of the competition. Uh, we we can be. Oh, thanks, Roberto. Bath can be proud. I uh, we are proud. As you can see, my physios come back and my starting eleven are exhausted. Superb. So that is it for now, guys. I will be back with any league business and any potential FA Trophy games that do arise. Um, it's going to be an interesting end to the season. We've still got quite a lot of football left to play. As I said, FA Trophy fourth round replay against Aldershot after a league match with Harrogate. So I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs>